this is the calculated industries wheelmaster pro 12 feet inch measuring wheel it comes with a neat little kickstand it's got a included they say free but it's just a teaser included little carrying case which is nice put it in the case throw it in the truck somewhere you don't have to worry about it get bung up getting worried about breaking things losing pieces keeps it all nice and secure i like that part about it let's get it out of this box and check it out now fresh out of the box you notice there's a quite a few things that are pretty cool nice little handle you can carry it once it's folded in half there are cables in here the cables work a brake which this is a brake and this is a zero so when you're rolling you hit the brake and it will actually stop this from rolling in the zero counter instead of pushing it here you can push the top button and it zeroes it out automatically for you instead of you have to reach down that's two neat little features little button on the side push this folds in half you're ready to put it in the bag for transportation also you got a little kickstand kick that down when you're rolling just set it down and it's sitting there waiting for you to use neat little feature ergonomic handle <laughs> Even though this and this is plastic, this has got a good feel to it. It's got a good grip. Not overly heavy. Very nicely designed. This is a, a 12 and a half diameter wheel. It measures up to 999 feet. So once it clicks over zero, that's a thousand feet. Pull that down. The carrying case, so I'm not sure if you may put this down to go in. Let me see how that works. Yeah, you fold that down, slide right in there, off you go. You're ready to head out, do your work. If you got to stop by, do estimates. It's all here in a convenient bag. Really, really nice. I actually like this. Now, let's go lay out tape measure and check it out and see how accurate it is. We're going to start here. Make sure this thing's angled. We're going to zero out the counter zero this is set right there so we're going to walk off 25 feet first and we're going to see just how accurate this is then I'm going to go to the 50 foot 22 24 25 and I'm at 24.8 so maybe 2 inches off even 24.9, I'm at 25.1. So at 50 feet, we should be 49.6 probably. Okay, where's, oops. 50 feet right there. Same thing, 49.8. So if we tell that it's 50, I am actually at Wow, 50 feet 6 inches. Well, just to be fair, I actually did that three more times. The 25 foot measurement stayed right at 24.8. That was pretty accurate to there. 50 foot, it varied between 49.5 to 49.8. So it was 49.5, 49.6, 49.7, 48. It was just kind of sporadic in there but then again if that was the 50 foot mark you were 49 something you'd round it off and you might even go a little big and do a 51 but overall 
still not bad. These aren't made for exact measuring. There is a curve. But I do like this. I like the functionality of it. I like the accessories, the kickstand, the, the handle, the way it breaks down. I have the brake and the reset button up here. Really nice little measuring wheel.